Hey guys, welcome. So Fedora, Linux 39 workstation. So I'm going to be talking about Fedora 39. Just got released as of today, November 7th, 2023. I'm going to be talking about uh, stuff for new users and um, adding the, well, the minimize, maximize button it would be one. Um, I'll touch a little bit about settings and a little bit about what's uh, different for popular software packages from 39 and 38, the previous version in other words. And I'll touch a little bit about their different spins. What that means is different desktops, uh, other desktops like XFC, you know, et cetera. And I'll talk a little bit about the distribution itself if you're not that familiar with uh, Fedora. You know, I, my philosophy is always if you are wanting to um, test drive a thing, do it yourself. So don't take someone else's word for it. Download it and try it yourself. That's my philosophy. But today I'm going to talk about 39 and give you a couple of tips along the way. So I am filming in 1920 by 1080. You can adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary. So I'm going to use Alt and F4. You are watching this on Linux for seniors. This is a watermark and it is not, um, it is blurred, yes but it's faded out also. But if you can see this icon here in the corner, you can click to subscribe, not here. So click that icon in the corner. The only reason I left it up here is because I've seen some of my videos on someone else's channel. And more importantly, if you don't see that logo, you are probably watching that on someone else's channel. But if you want to subscribe to Linux for Seniors, again, look for that logo in the corner and click to subscribe. What do you find on Linux for Seniors? over 260 videos and all kinds of things. Linux is for any age, and I make mention of that in my About section. So if you are a new user or a new subscriber, um, go check out my Community tab and the About section. I do have some links there in there for you too. So again, look for that logo. So welcome, folks. I'm going to start with this uh, distribution um, on DistroWatch. One of the reasons that I like DistroWatch, let me go full screen. If you don't mind, and I'll resize this on the fly. The one of the reasons I like DistroWatch, it puts a lot of information together, and I'm going to also talk about some more information for packages here in a second. But um, there was an update done on 11.7. That would be today's date on Fedora out of the United States. It's independent. They are owned by Red Hat. They're very large in the server community. Now, the desktop is what I'm talking about today, and the desktop specifically is GNOME. They do have other flavors. Another, another word for, that they like to use is spins. They do offer live medium, so you can test drive this. I don't use the popularity factor at all on DistroWatch. It's hard to gauge to begin with about how many people download dis different distributions. But I'm going to come back to their main home page in a minute, but I'm going to scroll downstairs a little bit just to let you see something. Uh, a lot of you folks have been on DistroWatch before and some folks have not. I do also have DistroWatch as a link in my About section on my YouTube site. 38 versus 39. So today's version is on this one. This is the official release. This is the next one they're working on. But more importantly, this is the official released version. 39. So going downstairs where you see packages, just to give you an example how to read this, is the, um, I'll pick the first one here, Alsa Lib. So the 39 has a 1.2.10 versus the 38 had a 1.2.7. Just one example of the differences in software. There might be hardly ever cha uh, no changes, but you can see there's changes in here. So these are your popular packages. I also don't use the reader viewer here on DistroWatch either as an uh, influence of information about testing out a distribution. One more time, my philosophy is this. Download it, test it for yourself. Okay, getfedora.org is the name of their um, website. And uh, version 39 was released today, November 7. So this is the workstation. If you want that, you download that. It is a GNOME desktop. It's roughly 2 point, uh, I believe it's 2.1 gigabytes and it takes uh, under 10 minutes to install. The default um, file system is BTRFS. Also have servers and other stuff. 
If you want different spins, or another word for that is different desktops, there's Plasma, XFCE, Cinnamon, Mate, and etc. Lots of different flavors. Okay, check it out for yourself at fedoraproject.org. I'm gonna use Alt and F4 to close that. All right, so I'm using VocoScreen to record this video. Not a big deal. And you can see that I'm filming in 1920 by 1080. So when you are uh, setting up Fedora 39, you are asked for a user and password, of course. And then just before you click that, though, if you are logging in and out, you can actually change the Wayland desktop to the X11. All you do is click on your name and look for a tiny gear here on the right-hand side corner. And you can click that to change the desktop. Now, a couple of shortcuts we have here, the Firefox web browser, a calendar, and I can go full screen. And more importantly, I can also do it that way. I'm using a standard computer mouse, not a touchpad. I also have a standard keyboard, so keep that in mind. I can also use Alt and F4 to close this window. Now, if you are using a laptop, sometimes you have to hit Function Alt F4, but I'm gonna use Alt and F4 because I'm using a regular tower computer, okay? So the file manager, software. So let me open up that and save the file manager for a little bit later. And I'm also gonna add that Minimize Maximize button a little bit later also. Here's your installed, and if you wanna get rid of something, uninstall it. Here's your updater, and don't forget that um, when you install Fedora 39, you probably will have some updates and you'll be asked to reboot and then log back in. You can also do searches by Explore, Magnifying Glass, and I do recommend if you want that Minimize Maximize button that you, I'm sorry, TWE, you install Tweaks. Mine is installed. It's only one version. So if you are, uh, I also installed GIMP. GIMP is like Photoshop, very similar to Photoshop. I use it real heavily. All my 260 um, videos and my thumbnails were done with GIMP. My previous channel had 450 videos they were also done with GIMP. I also convert images here and I can also create icons and edit icons. It's a very versatile tool. It comes in multiple flavors. You can see which one I have installed. So you have two Flatpak versions, by the way, in Fedora. You have Fedora Project and also FlatHub.org, if you're familiar with other distros. All right, so software, easy to do. You can go full screen, my way or the system way, whichever. Okay, so let's talk about that tweak tool. So just type in TW and that you should find it immediately. So uh, GNOME tweaks, and this version here is uh, 45.1. GNOME tweaks Windows. If you wanted to add that Minimize Maximize button, you would just slide these two guys on. If you don't want these buttons here, you would want them on the left, then switch that to the left. Your, while I'm in here, the uh, default mouse pointer or cursor, I have different names for these things. Uh, you know, it's like, talking about backgrounds or wallpaper, that kind of thing. Anyways, this is your default. However, the size is not done in here. The size is actually done through here. You scroll down to accessibility options under seeing cursor size. So you have dinky and jumbo and somewhere in between. I'm going to use jumbo and close that. So that cursor there is installed in USR share icons, and this one is installed in dot icons in your local folder, your home folder. I have lots of videos on explaining that to the full degree on how to do this. I also on my YouTube site have a link for you that a website that has over uh, 800 of these things, all kinds of flavors, if you want to call it that. I'm using the yellow one for highlighting purposes. So this is GNOME Tweaks. Now that I've added these two, it's available in all windows, including my web browser. You can now see them, they're up here. I will pull that back and just let you see those icons right here. Okay. 
I can also use Alt and F4. And again, if you're using a laptop, that would be Alt and Alt F4. I'm sorry, um, Function Alt F4 on some laptops. Alt and F4 it is. All right. Lots of stuff. I'm not really going to click on a lot of things. I will click on LibreOffice Writer just to let you see what version it is. This is 7.6.2. This allows you to save in, in uh, Microsoft formats also with the latest versions of Word 2010 365, if you're curious. One little tip, if you're brand new to LibreOffice, I'll just type in the word test. It auto-corrects and also if you misspell the word test, for instance, it takes a guess at that. So if I were to redo this, it has a squiggly and I will pick the right word. Holding down the control key, holding down the control key, scrolling up and scrolling back to resize on the fly. If you're a current subscriber, this may be getting old to you, but keep in mind, I never know when the new subscriber has never seen these kind of tips and tricks. Okay. Lots of different reasons why I do these things repetitively. It's not that I want to bore you to death as a subscriber. It's just there's lots of folks out there that are just learning how to do this. Holding down the control key while scrolling resizes what you can view. Not, I'm not changing this. If I was doing that, that's different. Okay, so far so good. Okay, not going to save that. All right, so I added tweaks. I also added GIMP and VocoScreen. So VocoScreen is what's recording this video. So I stopped there. So you have a scanner. You have settings here. You have a settings here, and if you right click on your screen, you can also find settings. System monitor, boxes is used for virtual machines. I've been asked this a thousand times. Why, didn't, why do certain things not work in virtual machines? That's because it's a virtual machine. A virtual machine is usually, you have a host, and then this is a subcategory or a system running within a system. Sometimes things are not always perfect. So anyways, terminal. I added tweaks and now you can see some of the other tools. So you have GNOME Disk Utility and I have a complete video on that if you would like to see those. Rhythmbox, a uh, nice help feature, it operates just like a web browser pretty much. And uh, going back, text editor, cheese is used for like, uh, I think it's uh, like little video cameras. Voco screen I added, that's what's filming this video. I added also GIMP because I put that watermark on that page one. And then I can also drag and drop these here at my beck and call. You can also rearrange the furniture. Okay, so far so good. And you can certainly type for things you're looking for. I'm gonna hit escape and escape. File manager. File manager for this distribution is called files. Another name for that is Nautilus if you go to their website. Couple more tips in here. Again, this is for made mainly for new users that have never seen my videos. Hold down the control key, scroll back and forth. Documents. If I'm dealing with a tech uh, text document, for instance, with a text editor, this is a text editor. You can um, scroll up to the top and then you can hold down the control key, scroll in and out on your computer mouse to resize the text. I'm not resizing the font. I'm resizing what you can view. Double click, double click. Now that I've added this, I can now do, do it that way also. Another um, feature is again, instead of using the X in the corner, I can use either function Alt F4 or Alt F4. If I'm using a regular computer, it's Alt and F4. If those function one through 12 have been pre-assigned through a laptop, you may have to use another alternative like function Alt F4. All right, PDFs, holding down the control key, scrolling in and out. Self-explanatory. Pictures, all right, depending on the thumbnail size, again, you can resize that by holding the control key, scrolling in and out. I'm just gonna stop right there. So if I wanted to see a bigger version of that butterfly, I single click and hit the space bar, space bar to close. Mushroom, single click, space bar to open, space bar to close. The dude in the hat, Space bar to open, space bar to close, right click, set as background. Another name for that is wallpaper. If you have digital imaging, 
Most modern Linux file managers will do this, but I'm just gonna point out the fact that you can right click on digital photos, hit properties and hit image properties and you should get details if the image came with it. So you can tell even the coordinates on that one. But that was taken with an iPhone 12. So that information got pulled in here. These are sample files. I have another hard drive sitting in here. Okay. So if you do have other hard drives, whatever that thing is called. And this is your file, uh, Fedora filing system. Okay. Your uh, regular mouse pointer, the black one, is installed in US or share icons. It's this one right here. I'm going to open up tweaks for a second just to give you the reference of which mouse pointer I'm referring to. Now you can see the name of it. It's this one. Okay, file manager. Control H. What does Control H do? It shows you hidden files and folders. I right clicked and created this folder called dot icons or period icons. Whatever name you want to give it, it's a hidden folder. It starts with a dot or a period. It's called radioactive. That is what that is called. And it's the only one installed in there. Control H is very common. Control C for copy, Control V for paste. So if I were to grab a picture, right click, Control C, copy. Control V for paste. I'll resize that on the fly. Holding down the Control key, scrolling up and down. X in the corner. All right, I already showed how to put icons on the panel, um, on the dock. It's very simple to do. Calendar, uh, weather information is all based on what you programmed in here. And you can add events, of course, and do the added details. So this is a calendar. Settings are here. Right click on your screen, settings are here. The standard stuff maybe that you're interested in is uh, maybe the appearance screen. You want a darker light theme. It's very easy to select. Background's the same. And of course, you can open up your file manager and right click on an image and use that as your wallpaper or background. You know, there's lots of settings in here. One more time, filming in 1920 by 1080. You can certainly see that I can film in 4K, but I thought I'd spare you the smaller icons. But this looks very nice in 4K, by the way. The mouse and touchpad is not where you change the size of the pointer. You can do the speed here, right and left buttons. The actual pointer size is done in accessibility, under seeing, under cursor size, from dinky to jumbo. Add users, unlock that, and add your users. If you want to allow children to operate your desktop, my suggestion is to create a different user for them to play with. That way they can add their own bookmarks on their own web browsers and keep out of yours and also play with their own home folders. So again, this is Fedora 39 Workstation. Thank you for watching.